Okay, so I've just bought myself um, a coffee grinder, a USB rechargeable coffee grinder. So this is what you get in the pack. I've got a cable, USB A to micro USB. So micro USB just pops in the back there. And the light on the back there glows red when it's charging and green when it's full, so you know when to take it off and charge. You get these the very sparse directions that are easy to follow. They tell you how to undo everything so the top just comes off and you pop your beans in there. The button is there for grinding and your ground comes out the bottom. It's just a little rubber seal so that just pushes on and you can see the grind at the bottom come out of there so that was about 15 pounds on amazon i'll put a link in the description as ever um uh, so let's give it a go i must admit i've never used beans before i've always used ground coffee so i'm going to pause this video and i'm basically going to google how many beans i need to put in the top for a cup of coffee because i don't know here we go Okay, so we had a little Google and the internet says two tablespoons of coffee beans for one cup of coffee, apparently. Although, a bit more. the instructions do say to keep the base jar 80% full of beans. For smooth functioning so maybe i'm going to have to put a bit more than two tablespoons but we'll give it a go we'll give that a go first the top one. there we go Okay, well it's definitely coming out. You can see it's definitely coming out. It's quite quiet. It's not too noisy. Um, but I am going to put some more beans in because that looks like it will work better if it's got a bit more in there to grab onto. So let's uh, let's fill that up a bit. I mean that makes sense because of the size of the. A little hopper at the top, doesn't it, to make it fill up? So let's try that. Let's pop the top back on. Down a little bit. So that's taken, that's taken three or four minutes to get what I would say is a nice big heaped teaspoon, which is what I use in the, the AeroPress in the camper van. Let's give it a, give it a sniff test. Oh, that smells good. Oh, that does smell good. Yeah, we've probably got enough there. You can see a nice big uh, heaped teaspoon. Just for me in the air press. Lovely. Okay, so seeing as we're in the van, we may as well go the whole cog, make ourselves coffee while we're out here. Probably about the right amount actually. Right. Oh, what 
of this has got a filter on it. I've got a um, stainless steel um, reusable one rather than using the paper ones. So, yeah, Eco-friendly. So that goes at the bottom. Then you put your coffee in this bit. Pop your water in. And then pop the plunger. Well-used AeroPress on the top. Just hold it on the top there. It'll hold itself and that will stop the water going through straight away. And some people do it the other way up. Some people fill it from the top and then put the filter on and screw the top on and all that nonsense. But this is the right way up for plunging, so I've always done it this way. And then we we'll wait a little while. So once it's brewed, we uh, give it a little shimmy for luck. I've seen that fella, the coffee fella, do that. Apparently that's the best thing to do, right? And then we just push down on the plunger, which forces all the water through the filter and into the mug. extra tip. These big water bottles with the wide tops, I said milk in it before, are great for storing dry goods like your coffee beans because they've already got a seal on the top and everything so they keep it airtight. Um, you'll probably notice if you've been camping before in a camper van that your, your bag of sugar goes a little bit damp fairly swiftly. Um, so yeah, an extra tip there. But right, that's my, back to my grinding. <laughs> 